Would you take Antonio Brown on your team? Hi, this is Coach Jim Johnson, and being a longtime high school basketball coach and coaching both some very bad teams as well as many successful and championship teams, I've learned a lot about what it takes to be building a successful team. And I felt as soon as New England picked up Antonio Brown, my prediction is he wouldn't last very long. Very long. And of course, that was true because he only made it through one game before he was released after the disaster in Oakland. So I want to share some keys that I think is so important to building a successful team. The first thing is your best leaders you've got to be leaders by example. And certainly Antonio Brown didn't do a very good job of that. So it's very important. And look at Tom Brady. He's been so successful for so long and, he, and it happens to be that he leads by example. He has a great work ethic. Number two is going into what I just said, work ethic, is that I heard Antonio Brown has a great work ethic, which is excellent but that he didn't always want to be part of the team. In Oakland, I heard horror stories where he would be off on another field while the team is pressing. You can't have that. Your leaders have got to be part of the team. Number three is a successful team is built on people that love what they do. They have great passions. And one of the things that I believe is why New England is so successful for so long a period of time is the fact that their coach, Bill Belichick, and their leader player, Tom Brady, have still great passion for the game and they keep having desire to keep getting better. And that's what's so impressive about both of them. Number four is attitude is so essential. I always would bring it up to my players. I'd say attitudes are contagious. Is yours worth catching? Is Antonio Brown's attitude worth catching? I don't think so. Next one is... Do you have the team first or what I call the we over me philosophy in building a team that is so powerful? And certainly with Antonio Brown, he was more a me guy than a we guy. And that's why he's no longer in the league, despite his great talent. And the last one is, I believe the fiber of a, a successful team is people that are made up of high level and integrity. And if you don't have a high level of integrity, then you're gonna falter. And certainly Antonio slipped in that department as well. So as we think about building a team, remember, as I always told our players, you are always on stage. Your attitudes are important, your work ethic. Be great in the things you can control. And to answer the question that I brought up earlier, would I take Antonio Brown on my team? Unfortunately, I would not. How about you? Think about how to build a successful team. Take these ideas and go build a championship team. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if my team or myself can ever help you, reach out to my website, CoachJimJohnson.com. We're here for you. Thank you.